Hey everybody, Rocky here. If you're like me and you grow a, a big garden every year, uh, you're probably used to dealing with pests and different diseases, especially if you grow um, uh, peppers and things in the nightshade family. Uh, peppers are very susceptible to things like aphids and uh, caterpillars and also some different diseases. Um, every year it's inevitable, no matter what precautions I take, I end up dealing with aphids, which as you probably know are very tiny, soft-bodied insects that hide out under the leaves of pepper plants and suck all the sap out of the leaves. And if they multiply in, in greater numbers, they end up killing the plant and actually spreading diseases to other plants as well. So. Uh, I've tried lots of different things to combat the aphids over the years. I've tried permethrin sprays and uh, different uh, natural sprays like detergents and neem oils and, and essential oils and everything else. And uh, this year I'm trying some diatomaceous earth. And I just got this uh, spreader or this uh, duster right here. And what I'm doing is I'm filling the reservoir here with the diatomaceous earth. And if you don't know what diatomaceous earth is, it's basically ground up diatoms, which, which are fossilized um, uh, creatures that they, they basically ground up and made a fine powder out of. And it's the perfect, uh, perfect consistency to actually uh, cut up soft bodied insects like aphids and caterpillars. So it makes for a great uh, insect repellent if you can get it underneath the leaves of the plants. So I'm gonna try this and hopefully this works well because I've actually tried diatomaceous earth on the tops of the leaves and so far it's worked really well. I've gone out the next day and found a lot of dead aphids and I've just been able to brush them off the plant. So basically this sprays the undersides of the plant. So you're covering the whole plant, not just the tops of the leaves. You're covering the bottoms of the leaves where the insects hide. Dispersed is pretty nicely. So if you take a look at this plant, if you do this a couple of hours after you water the plant, you see that uh, the plant is nicely covered with the diatomaceous earth. So next time an aphid or a soft-bodied insect like a caterpillar or mite tries to crawl across this leaf, it's going to get cut up and it's going to die. So. I think this is going to be an effective way for me to uh, deal with this, hopefully uh, this season, but I'll keep you guys posted. I just wanted to, uh, uh, you know, give you an update of uh, what I've been doing to, uh, to deal with things like, like aphids, because I know a lot of people have to, uh, have to confront that every year in their garden. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you soon.